Hello everyone and welcome to the screencast series by Brainstorm Force. This tutorial is about our headings element. Heading provides an awesome way to enhance the heading title with its super cool features. We have demonstrated some of the features here. Right now you are looking at the demo page on which we have tried all the variations that you can do using heading element. So now one by one we'll go into the back end and check for the options and deep try out different variations that we have already implemented. Now let's see how to add headings element on your page. You can click on add element, ultimate VC add-ons and click on headings which will insert a heading and a row on your web page. Now we'll just try and edit one of the element so that we get to see the list of options. So these are the options that you get to see in the back end of heading element. We have separator, alignment, heading as well as subheadings. The text you enter here will be seen in block letters on your web page like this. And this portion is for the subheading which is optional. If you want to use a subheading, you can insert text into the TinyMC editor in the backend and the text will be shown as a subheading on the element. By clicking here you can set the alignment. Here we have implemented different alignments like right, center and left. As you can see on screen this is left, this is center and this is right. You can also choose what kind of separator you would like to see between your heading and subheading. So you can choose a line icon image or line with an image. So we'll try out line first. You can see different variations where we have chosen line as a separator between the heading and the subheading. You can also choose the separator positions whether you would like to see the separator on the top like this, separator between heading and subheading like the one in the bottom. Here we have the separator between heading and the subheading or bottom like this. Then you can also select line style solid dashed dotted you can choose different styles of line line width line height all the options which come along with the line by selecting icon you get the similar kind of options and you can choose whether you want a font icon manager or a custom image to be displayed as a separator to your heading. The rest of the options are similar which come along with the fonts like you can choose a background, you can choose a border and here you can choose a different custom image to be inserted as a separator. You will find all the variations of the separator being implemented on the demo page as it's shown on screen. You can choose an image from your media library to be displayed as a separator on your heading element. It will have an option of image width so as to display its size. If you want a bigger one, you can get a bigger one and vice versa. Let's go with the final option, line with an image. So here are various examples for a line with an image. So basically you will have a separator with an image or an icon in between the line. You can also insert headings in different columns. You just have to divide your row into different columns like this and insert the heading in either of the column so that you get a heading in one part of your row like this. 
in another part you can insert like an image or other elements given by VC or ultimate add-ons. So here we have used a single image in one column and the headings element in another. Now let's see how to get different fonts for the text used on headings. So now here I'll try to show you how to get a different font. You have to click on typography, a second tab. You can choose the font family. From here, right now I have these many fonts in my collection which a new user would not have. You can add different Google fonts to your collection by clicking on the link given below. Clicking here will open the Google Fonts Manager which can also be accessed from the left sidebar on your dashboard by clicking on Brainstorm and Google Fonts. You'll get the Google Fonts Manager. You can choose from a wide range of Google Fonts available in Google Library and add them one by one to your collection. A separate tutorial for using Google Fonts Manager is already in our YouTube channel so you can watch that tutorial to know how to add various fonts in your collection so that you get your fonts over here and thus we have applied this effect by choosing different fonts for headings and subheadings rest of the options include font size font color which can be applied like this by choosing a font color you will get your heading with a different color and with different sizes also same options are available for the subheadings you can choose a font its size and color as this is one of the most frequently asked questions you can also add a background to the heading so now I'll show you how to add a background to your headings like the one that you see on screen right now I've added a background to my headings you can do that by using the default option given by VC editing the row by clicking here and selecting this tab design options where you get to select a border background color as well as an image to be added in the background of your row now I'll try to use a solid color on my background instead of an image and the same color will be shown on the background of my heading right now I have used an image for the background so you can see it in the front end let's remove it and choose a solid color from the color picker given so now we'll see if we get a solid color in the front end preview changes and there we get the color that we wanted in this way by editing the row in which your heading element resides you can also add a background of an image or of a solid color to your headings element I hope this tutorial helped you in understanding the basic features of headings element do subscribe to our youtube channel for more of such videos thanks for watching